Germany in the middle of this century. Renewables provide 100% of the country's electric power needs. Traffic runs for the most part on electricity. Solar power systems line major traffic arteries, covering many rooftops and forming a part of the building's facades. The day's excess solar power is stored in batteries located in the cellar or outside the home. Out in the countryside, biogas plants produce electric power. Wind energy produced on and offshore provides more than half of Germany's total electricity needs. When there's more green electricity than needed, electrolysis plants store the surplus renewable energy. In these plants, water is turned into energy-rich hydrogen gas. In a neighboring plant, the hydrogen bonds with carbon dioxide to form methane gas. The methane produced with the help of green electricity can be stored in Germany's national grid and in large gas caverns. Together with biomethane from the biogas plants, it is replacing more and more natural gas. If the wind doesn't blow or the sun doesn't shine, the gas flows into large gas power plants and into small cogeneration plants that produce electricity and heat in homes. There are many ways to store biogas, solar and wind power. These sources will provide 100% of Germany's electricity needs by the middle of this century. This vision provides the guiding concept for scientists at the Fraunhofer Institute for Wind Energy and Energy System Technology, or IVES, in Kassel. They're researching Germany's transition to renewables in a special data processing center where they simulate thousands of small and large-scale biogas, solar and wind power plants, as well as power grids. That way, scientists not only learn where renewable energy can best be added to the existing power grid, they also learn where the grid could be expanded and how it should work in the future. Renewables have to provide enough energy and electricity, as well as power ancillary services, above all maintaining frequency and voltage stability. Along with simulating the digital energy landscape in the data processing center, researchers also carry out concrete tests outside in the real world. They need to find out if renewables alone can produce the required frequency. The problem is, Conventional power plants have always produced the exact amount of electricity needed by consumers at a given moment. That creates an alternating current frequency of 50 hertz. And that's important. All the electronic devices used by consumers are designed for a 50 hertz AC connection. Strong deviations can lead to severe disturbances in factories and in private households. Scientists at the Fraunhofer IVES testing center are trying to maintain the balance between the supply and demand of electric energy with the help of renewables, thereby maintaining a stable frequency in the power grid. The problem is, no one can regulate the sun or the wind. That's why the scientists have connected several biogas, solar, and wind power plants together, forming a combined power plant. All the plants provide what's known as control reserve. That means they release only a controlled amount of output onto the grid. 
If more electricity is needed in the grid, the plant's output is increased. If less is needed, the output is decreased. Teams on location are preparing the plants for the experiment. Everything okay? Looks good. Is the wind farm ready? The wind farm is ready. To all plants, the experiment is starting. The biogas plant has already reduced its output. It could immediately provide more or less power. During the experiment, a computer simulates the quickly changing power consumption. And it's precisely these fluctuations that have to be balanced in the plant. The same goes for the solar plant. Man sieht jetzt, wie hier die Frequenz gerade wieder ansteigt. The frequency rises, too much power in the grid. The biogas plant now has to further reduce its output immediately. And the solar plant has to reduce its power output as well. The frequency falls to the desired 50 hertz. But if the frequency falls any further, it means more power is demanded than supplied in the grid. The wind farm in Brandenburg still has four megawatts of positive control reserve on hand. That means some plants are not running at full capacity. The blade angle is altered. The turbines rotate faster. And the frequency rises. Does the wind farm react quickly enough? The wind farm is fast enough and the frequency is rising. Our experiment showed that renewables provide an adequate supply of constant energy and ensure a stable voltage frequency. The vision of 100% renewable energy can become a reality as Germany moves away from conventional power sources. Solar, biogas and wind power plants complement each other. By the middle of this century, they will form the supporting pillars of climate neutral and secure power production. Even when the sun sets and the winds die down, the lights will stay on in Germany.